day, YouTube. Welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. The Rhino, Tony, who brought me my Barley Days Brewery beers. And we have Barley Days Brewery's uh, Working Man Stout. It is made with barley, hops, water, and yeast. It is 4.5% alcohol, brewed by the Barley Days Brewery in uh, Picton, Ontario. Picton, Ontario. Prince Picton, Edward Ontario. County. This is clearly bread. Don't blink or you'll miss it when you drive through. <laughs> That's clearly what? <laughs> what oh. the? Only the Brits make retarded gas masks. No, no, like that's a uh, Czech or Russian. I don't remember. That looks, uh, if I remember, uh, World of War. Well, no, this is all, all gas masks are post Call of Duty. Too. That's Russian. Anyway, <laughs> I got the albino rhino glass. Tony has the uh, rolling rock glass. And sure. Tony brought up this factor here. Barley Days, you guys need a new label machine or a new guy doing your labels because they're all damaged. Every, Every one, one of them. didn't have one. Christmas beer didn't even have one. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. Holy <laughs> shit. That is a stove. <laughs> I love it already. <laughs> that is. Strikes up. I don't like uh, dark green, and that's mm. ridiculous. Like. No head, but I'm okay with that because it's uh, it's fucking black. It's darker than night. It's very thick, thick smell. There's chocolate. There's caramel. A little molasses. That's, that's, I was about to say. I think a little caramel or molasses. Not much, but a little bit on the end. I've never seen a fucking darker beard than that. That's what started. <laughs> Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> Just happened there. Uh, very chocolatey. <laughs> it's, uh, I'm almost afraid now. <laughs> I don't even know what happened. Give her! There's coffee in there too. <laughs> Long coffee. Do you sip that and spit it? No, I snorted it. <laughs> oh, it's still that coming is neither white nor powdery. Like. <laughs> it's good shit. <laughs> It actually is pretty close to a coffee stout. Yeah, not a coffee flavor for sure. Not as soft as you would expect. There's a little more carbonation than a normal stout would have. Very coffee, very coffee-like, very coffee bitterish on the end. A little bit of chocolate in there, a little bit of caramel still in there, but hidden behind the coffee. No hops. I actually like this. It's a gas, good. I thought it was going to be a lot more bitter just from the smell. How's your label? Is it savable? Or is it ripped right there? Okay. Yeah, it's savable. Your label I'm going to try to get on the back wall. I can get it on there. But yeah, I like it. It's, it's good. I'm actually surprised. Little microbrewery in, in nowhere, Ontario. Yeah. And they make a pretty damn good stout. And they made an okay dark. Yeah, you like the dark, you said? Yeah, it was pretty good. But, yeah, I, I actually like this. Uh, the longer you wait with that coffee flavor, a little bit of vanilla comes out. I would have thought it was the cigar I just smoked, but I rinsed that out pretty good. I'd give it, like, a 7.5 out of 10. I actually like it. I'd drink it again. But yeah. yourself. Yeah, I, I like the well, cloth. I like the full flavor of beer for sure. And this is All right, let's see. It's good. Can I try our casing? No? All right. Surprised because sometimes the microbrewery stouts have a lot more bitter aftertaste. This is actually pretty good. Alrighty, guys. So, what did you give it? I'd probably do seven and a half. Seven, seven and a half? Seven, seven and a half for sure. Alrighty, so seven and a seven and a half from both of us. Seven. And we got the big army guy behind us. Seven. Breathing down our neck saying seven. <laughs> Alrighty. So seven and a half, seven and a half, and a seven. Thanks, Peter. Thank you for watching the Albino Rhino Beer Review, and thank you, Tony. You're awesome. This is fucking good. Cheers. Bye. Yeah. Much, uh...